Ashto R47 describes the method of reducing samples of hot mix asphalt to testing size. In this tutorial, we will cover the mechanical splitter method. Mechanical splitter type A is a quartering device with four equal width chutes that discharge the material into four separate containers. Mechanical splitter type B has a minimum of eight chutes, which discharge alternately to two separate receptacles. Specifications for both types of splitter are found in the apparatus section of the standard. For both splitter types, R47 allows the use of a release agent to prevent a buildup and loss of material. It is critical that you only use an approved release agent that will not affect the binder properties. The equipment may be heated, but the temperature may not exceed 230 degrees Fahrenheit when measured with a non-contact temperature device. First, we'll reduce a sample using the Type A splitter. Make sure the equipment that will come in contact with the HMA sample is clean and free of debris. Place the receptacles beneath the chutes so that all material passing through will be captured. If desired, lightly coat the surfaces that will come in contact with the HMA using an approved release agent. Make sure the hatch is closed before introducing the sample. When placing the sample in the hopper, employ a method that will evenly distribute the material and avoid segregation. Release the hatch and allow the HMA to fall through the dividers and into the receptacles. Reintroduce the material from two opposite quarters as many times as necessary to achieve the specified test sample size. Now, we'll reduce a sample using the Type B splitter. Make sure the equipment is clean and ready for use. Lightly coat the equipment with the release agent. Place the material in the pan or hopper and uniformly distribute it from edge to edge so that approximately equal amounts will flow through each chute. Control the rate of flow through the chutes so that the material passes freely into the receptacles below. Reintroduce the portion from one receptacle as many times as necessary to obtain the desired test sample size. If necessary, two portions may be combined as long as each portion remains a valid split. R47 also covers other methods for reducing HMA samples. However, the Oklahoma Department of Transportation recommends the use of mechanical splitters whenever practical. For more details on the most recent specifications, consult the latest AASHTO publication, which may be ordered by calling 202-624-5800 or online at transportation.org.